Ah, the foyer. You guys know that the foyer is one of my favorite, favorite rooms in the house for lots of reasons. I love the foyer because it is the first place that welcomes your company, anyone coming into your house. Now, if you don't have a foyer, it's your entry, whatever that is. And I'm always thinking it's got to be even more luscious, even more inviting. You know, what can I do to make it more interesting? And you know, I love this foyer. I love that we've added the flocked wallpaper and we painted the walls this wonderful dark black high gloss, you know, ah, oh, it's just so beautiful. But I'm going to, with you, add yet another layer and make it that much more interesting. I think it'll just be that one more push that I need to get it over the top. So my first most important piece in a room like this is to grab a rug. So I went upstairs and I stole this from our bathroom and I love it. I love how it's got this wonderful, yummy ethnic twist because you know, there's a lot of funkiness going on in this room. Kind of has that cool, Frenchy, Nolens kind of a look. I just love it. I think this adds that extra yummy layer. So the rug is always a great place to start because it gives me sort of this wonderful grounding in the room and now I can build up from there. So I'm gonna keep hunting. So this layer takes a little bit of muscle, but ugh, I thought this table would be so cool in here because again, I'm always looking for a high low. So this table is awesome because you know, it's so earthy. It's got this gorgeous base, you know, wonderful branchy looking and then the top of it is so pretty. So I think this is kind of the next perfect layer. And then I want to add a little height to this thing, you know, a little bit more nature. I love bringing nature and I just think it's interesting. Anytime you have the chance to go outside and grab some nature and bring it into your home, I just think the connection between the inside of the home and the outside of the home are so delicious. And I can envision some beautiful branches sweeping up and connecting the chandelier to this space so when someone walks in, they just get this wonderful, welcoming, yummy feeling. John always laughs at me when I start redecorating because of course I just start pushing things across the floor. You know, with little boys, you know, our four little boys, I don't get too um, hyper about the floors getting scratched. In fact, I keep hoping they're gonna get even more worn and scratched up over time. So for me to just drag things around is an okay thing in our house. And I love, I have, this is my grandmother's chair that was passed on um, to us. But I love the idea of, you know, a yummy big chair in this space. I think again, it creates one more grounding piece to this room. I think a little bit of color on this is interesting. It's such a white fabric and I have never wanted to spend the money to recover it. So instead, my answer to not reupholstering something is to get you know an inexpensive piece of burlap, which I love, again, the earthiness of it. I just think it's so cool. Throw it on, so you know I've got like $4 worth of burlap here, and then I'll throw some pretty throws on it and some colorful pillows, again, just to tie the whole room together. A few more arm loans of goodies, and um, you know, I'm continuing just to hunt and find little things. I love this, um, I love the color of this throw, and I love the contrast of this fabulous yellow against the black and then the gloriousness of the wallpaper. I just think it's really interesting and not typical at all. You know, this is not a color that I think most people would think of to throw in here, but I really think it's very, very interesting and, um, you know, kind of funky. And that's what I'm always looking for. You know, what's that next layer that I can, you know, whip into a room to make it, you know, even more gorgeous. And these are just some old pillows and things. But you know, that's just kind of interesting. And then um, I kind of went hunting around for some goodies to put on this table. So I have this tray. I wanted to find a little round mirror that I thought was good, but I couldn't find one. I had a smaller one, didn't quite like how it worked. But I love the age of this tray. You know, this is one of those like $5 trays. Isn't it just perfect? It's so perfectly aged. I do not want to polish this kind of stuff because I just love it this way. And then I have this um, lantern that I've had forever. And my thought with this is, first of all, I love that it's dark and the table is light because I think, again, it ties everything together in a really pretty way. And then what I like about it is it's not typical, like a vase or something like that, which you would ordinarily want to put on a table like this to put branches out of. Instead, 
it's a lantern that I will then add some branches out of. I'm thinking um, hydrangea branches will be cool because they're so brown and falling apart right now and there's still a little bit of, you know, dead flowers on them and I love that interesting, you know, the, the dead of the winter of nature is very fantastic to me. So I'm gonna grab those and then we'll build it up just a little bit more. All right, I think I have got my last little bit of goodies. And let me just put this stuff down. I'm just gonna show you. So look at these gorgeous branches. Again, you know, they've been out wintering and they're just so pretty. And I just took a few of them. And um, I love, love the texture. And I think they're just very interesting in this room anyways. And you know, this is not about perfect. It's just about, you know, putting it together, making it spectacular in all of its natural glory, you know. I'm gonna put these in here. I love how this lantern actually works perfectly to hold the branches in place for me. And then I got some little goodies. Um, you know, these are salt and pepper shakers actually, but they're quite pretty out here. I love the little birds and then this just funky old bird. Now, I want you guys to really look at this and everything is kind of brown and this is where I always kind of stop and go, okay, what else do I need? Sort of like when I'm getting dressed, you know. You know, you kind of look at yourself. I'm usually getting dressed so fast that there's not a lot of time, but <laughs> You know, you kind of look at yourself and you're like, do I need earrings or not? Do I have enough going on or not? This is a great time to do that in decorating. Each little step that you take, kind of stand back and look at it and do one of those, am I far enough? Do I need anything else? Does it need more texture? Does it need more color? Is there enough high and low going on? You know, that's the kind of stuff that will help you start to kind of, you know, get your thing going on and feel like you have a really good grasp of what it is you're trying to create. Play around with it, have fun with it. So look right now, I'm feeling, eh, it needs a pop of color, right? Then all of a sudden, wow, look how yummy that looks in the mix. You know, that delicious green kind of brings it all together. And it's interesting, the horse is cool and kind of funky and the color of it is so beautiful. And I think this room looks that much more interesting. You know, it's got all of this wonderful stuff going on. I'm gonna drag this little Frenchy chair over to this corner because I think that's cool too. And I just have a couple of old pillows on it. But I like where this room has gone now. You know, it's, it's, it's got a playful twist to it. It's got textiles, which I think always add a softness to a room. I have the ability to light a couple of candles if I know we have company coming and dim the lights really low. You don't ever wanna blast somebody with light when they're coming into your home. Right away, just like when you walk into a wonderful restaurant, you want them to feel calm with the lights low and then you hand them a cocktail, but this creates that perfect inviting setting, just like I know you will be creating in your own home.